Today I'm going to cover three different ways to sharpen your lawnmower blades from the most manual to the easiest and highest quality option. These options vary from 10 to a couple hundred dollars but are all great ways to sharpen blades as long as you know what you're doing. Now ensuring that your blades are sharp has many advantages, the main being that a sharp blade creates clean cuts on grass blades resulting in a well manicured appearance for your lawn. Dull blades can tear the grass rather than cut it cleanly leading to a ragged and uneven appearance. Sharp blades promote healthier grass growth by reducing stress on the grass plants, but can also reduce the risk of disease or fungal infections that can occur when grass blades are torn or jagged. If you already know how to remove your lawnmower's blade, feel free to skip ahead. Before doing maintenance on your lawnmower, it is a good idea to remove the spark plug boot and ensure it doesn't come in contact with the plug. This will ensure the lawnmower cannot start and cause injury. Next, you'll want to tilt your machine in order to get access to the blade. Be sure to look at any special considerations with your model to ensure you do not spill oil or gasoline. My Toro recommends allowing the gas tank to run dry before tipping it on its side, which is the same method on this model as changing the engine oil. On my small Craftsman, I simply lean it back and put a weight on the handle, which has never caused any issues. But if you do this, make sure it is secure. For most machines, you'll want to keep the spark plug side up, as well as the carburetor and air filter. It's always a good practice, too, to pull the starter rope just until it gets tight which will mean that the piston is at the top of its compression stroke and the valves are closed, helping reduce the ability for oil to escape and possibly hydrolock your engine. Now that your mower is ready, it is time to take the blade off. You may want to put gloves on and the best way to do this is use a scrap piece of wood to stop the blade from turning as you wrench it off. Be careful not to angle the board under the blade as you could bend it and put unnecessary stress on the shaft. Instead, try to make direct contact to the side of the blade. For both of my mowers I'm doing today, the bolts were on pretty tight and so the quick use of my torque wrench acting like a breaker bar gave me a little extra leverage to get the bolt loosened. Keep an eye on how your blade is attached as it will need to go back on the same way. On my blades, both sides in the middle of the blade are bent towards the ground. You can usually tell on the blade where various brackets and such were as it will have a nice little outline next to all of them with the dried on grass. With my Toro, there are very distinct fitment patterns with differently sized knobs to ensure you cannot put a piece upside down. Now I'll go down to my workshop and go over the three methods I'll demonstrate today for sharpening your blades. The first way to sharpen a lawnmower blade is with a flat file as seen here, which you can easily get for as cheap as $10 and I have linked in the description below. Mine is from a file set I got many years ago, which I've been using for random projects all around the house. To start, I'll place the blade in a vise, which is bolted to my workbench. I'll then press firmly on both sides of the file during the downstroke and try to sharpen the entire width of the sharp part of the blade. You'll want to try your hardest to keep a very consistent angle with your file with the factory angle of the blade so you don't end up rounding it or making the edge too thin or too thick. You can see here that material is already starting to come off which helps confirm where the file is meeting the metal. Continue filing until the blade is sharp to the touch, but be careful not to run your finger along the blade or press too hard. I will usually make a couple light back strokes on the back side only to remove any burrs. You should not sharpen both the top and bottom of the blade. After you finish one side, you may move on to the other. For the second way, I'm going to use an angle grinder with a flap disc, which is another popular method for quickly sharpening your mower blades. Now a flap disc differs from a hard disc as it has many layers of removal material, much more like a thick sandpaper versus one solid wheel. A flap disc will be a bit more forgiving and less aggressive, which is great unless you prefer the hard wheel and are extra careful not to gouge or take too much material off your blade. For flap discs, many people use a grip between 30 and 80, but I find 60 to be the best and is likely the most popular option. Before using any method with power tools, it's a good idea to use safety glasses and hearing protection. For this method, I like to angle the blade a little higher up in the vise and just give the blade easy, smooth strokes until it is sharp. The one main problem with this method is the sharpening goes much faster than the hand file and if you're not holding the angle appropriately, your filing job can get out of hand in a hurry. When you are finished, you can repeat the other side. One note is that you should not use the angle grinder to remove burrs from the back side of the blade as it will quickly sharpen the blade from the wrong side. For this, I will once again use a couple back strokes from a flat file. For the third and final way, I am going to continue to use the angle grinder, but this time with a special jig made by All American Sharpener, which is a USA company who produces this very popular sharpening device. In short, the device removes the main cons from my second method, which is having to determine the proper grinding angle based on your eyes alone. 
The All-American Sharpener allows you to set a specific grind angle, in my case 30 degrees, but you can also choose other angles if, for example, you have mulching blades. Subscribe and stay tuned if you are interested in a full review and a complete how-to of the All-American Sharpener in a future video. Once I have tightened the blade down to the device, I will insert my angle grinder into a pin I've already installed and then begin to make smooth, bottom-to-top passes until the blade is sharp. The key is to maintain a constant light pressure and speed and let the disc do most of the work. Once one side is done, I will flip the blade over and finish the other side. Once complete, I will remove any burrs with a couple back strokes on the opposite side with a flat file. Before installing any more blades after sharpening, I will ensure they are perfectly balanced. When you sharpen a blade, you are removing metal. A blade out of balance will not only have extra vibrations, but it can also do damage to the mower or bearings and possibly cause injury if it comes loose. I like to use this little plastic blade balancer which I will link below, but if you do not have one of those, a nail on the side of a piece of wood will work in a pinch and often I'll do both methods just to make sure my blades are perfectly balanced. Now there are many other devices on the market for sharpening blades, but often they will not work as good and so I'm not recommending them. But if I am missing something cool or that works really well, please put it in the comments below. As far as the frequency of when to sharpen your blades, it really depends. The number of blades your mower has, the size of your yard, mowing frequency, and whether you hit a lot of sticks or stones will have large impacts on how often you need to sharpen. Generally, I sharpen at the start of every season and one more time midway through the summer. If you notice that a few days after cutting your yard, you have a brown cast of grass blade tips across your lawn, or if you inspect a piece of freshly cut grass and notice jagged edges, this means you are likely past due on sharpening your blades. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this video helpful and please hit subscribe if you want to learn more ways to take care of your yard and equipment.